Welcome to another video of Import Labs video tutorials. In this video, we are going to configure a Windows workgroup, a home network. Well, I've created a list to start on. Well, um, the first question that you might ask is, what is a workgroup? Well, a workgroup is a group of computers, normally with a maximum of um, with a minimum of two computers to the maximum of six to ten computers. The reason that I say the maximum is between six to ten is that depending on the operating systems that, that you are using within your work group, you would have a maximum limit of six or ten computers. Well, um, work groups are normally known as peer-to-peer -peer networks. The reason is that um, the computers or the workstations or the peers that are communicating on the network are actually uh, communicating on the same protocol layer so that this connection is since this connection is known as a peer-to-peer -peer connection the network is known as a peer-to-peer -peer network and each of the workstations are known as peers and uh, well the benefits and the limitations of a work group the benefits of a work group is that you're able to share your disks folders CD-ROMs DVD-ROMs printers and also your internet connection the limitations would be actually the the number of computers that you're allowed to limit it to create a work group and the uh, second would be the user management which you don't have uh, complete um, access to actually manage all of the users and the security and so on but it's completely suitable for home users and although if you're planning to connect more than 10 computers to each other you should definitely go for a domain and install a domain controller and so on well the first thing that you have to do to start getting to get starting um, uh, installing your work group is to in, um, check that uh, check that every single computer in your um, network has at least one network card a LAN adapter and you simply have to check that you have uh, installed all of the in, uh, LAN adapters, drivers and after you check uh, all of that you have to actually choose between network uh, topologies so that you can connect your network and build up your work group well to proceed ahead uh, as we see here this is the simplest um, this is the simplest network that you could create between two computers this is the only network that we we would be using a crossover cable uh, a crossover cable would be one end of the crossover cable would be connected to one computer the other end would be connected to the other um, other network card on the other computer and we would be configuring the IPs on the same on this computer and this computer and they would be simply um, connected to each other so you could um, send data back and forth well um, the the second the uh, actually if you have um, more than two computers for instance three computers you won't be using a th um, crossover cable these cables that are placed here are known as Ethernet cables category 5 normally and they all would be connecting to a third-party device such as switch and such as a switch and one of the computers in the network which would be normally the client one would be connecting to a modem this is a modem here let's give it a M for the modem let's give the switch an S for the switch okay so three computers here are connected to a switch one computer in the network is one computer in the network is connected to a modem which dial ups to the internet where with sharing the internet connection with sharing the internet connection of this computer uh, client 2 and client 3 would be able to connect to the dial up internet as well okay so the other um, the other way that we actually could connect all of the computers and uh, find it to the internet is that to remove this dial-up uh, dial modem and replace it with a router here we have a router it's the same topology but here with a router connect uh, client 2 client 3 this is client 2 this is client 3 this is client 1 client 2 3 and 1 are connected to the switch again and 
client 1 is connected to a router and connected to the internet client 1 would share its connection to the internet and 2 and 3 would be able to connect through client 1 and through the router to the internet okay um, this um, although this topology is not completely efficient and the reason is that client 2 and 3 are connecting through client 1 to the router to the internet it would decrease the performance on client 1 it would eat a lot of bandwidth on the network and it would bring so many difficulties that uh, it's not completely efficient but the topology the best topology that you might want to use is to use a router connect all of the computers client 1 2 3 um, directly to the router um, well by the, by connecting them to the router they would completely create a um, work group without any problem and at the same time they would be having connection to the internet without uh, that actually without sharing any um, com any connection any internet connection on any um, computer okay so let's go back to the list that we had here so we installed our adapters we installed the drive drivers we found that what kind of network topology that we are going to use finally we connected our computers with the cables that we knew that we have to use and it's time to configure the IP addresses okay so let's go back at um, check let's go um, take another look at the um, topology that we were talking about well on this diagram we have three computers connected to a switch and connected to the modem and the internet this is uh, what we're going to talk about we have three computers and one modem and another router connected uh, at the same time um, to the internet well so we have let's go to our computers here and the the work group that we are going to uh, actually show in this video the, the configure in this video uh, includes three computers exactly at the s exactly like the second or the third diagram that we were showing you um, they would be comp the, the three clients would be connected to a switch uh, one of the clients which would be client one would be connected to a um, router into the internet so it could actually share the, its connection to uh, for the other uh, workstations so them so that they could be connected to, to the internet as well well to start off first of all when we um, start the computers and install the uh, network cards um, we would say the status of our network cards limited with no connectivity so we have to apply them uh, apply IP addresses to them so provide them IP addresses so that we could actually uh, make them connect to each other okay so what about IP addresses well I'm not going to uh, maneuver a lot on IP addresses but one thing I have to say is that if you uh, I would make this completely straight I'm not gonna actually um, explain about it a lot if you have two computers you could use this IP address 194.225.33.1 and let me give this a bigger font 18 if you have two computers you would be using the ad IP address 194.225.33.1 194.225.33.2 if you're using three computers if you're using three computers you would be using dot one dot two dot three and if you're using four to ten computers it would be dot one dot two and blah 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 till dot ten okay the the only thing that I have to say is that make sure in every worker that you're creating since they are all are, are all on the same subnet uh, make sure this part of the IP address which is the network ID should be completely the same and this part should be completely different no computer no workstation um, should have the, um, the there shouldn't be any two uh, workstations that have that have the same IP address um,